Mm, we're back. Hello. Ah, there you go. Oh, where did we leave off at? Oh, I want to uh, track skills to be unlocked. Every skill we did. Oh, we didn't get this one though. Okay. Well, we're gonna try new character. Well, first of all, first of all. Once per stage. So these relics. Do I just always start off with it? That, this one's insane. What the hell? Part of ice. I'm gonna buy one of these specifically. Maybe grab Crown of Thorns. Like, is it just unlock permanently? Is that what that does? Let's go here. Hello, Phoenix. No, it's fine. You can give me a counter skill, though. Very attack. Carrying is very advantageous. Like, what does that do? Do I just have that forever? Hello. Wonder if I uh, show it to her again. Nothing. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I used to all my money. I used to owe the money. Okay. I think this is what we're going to start off with. I think. And I think Snap is better. Because I wasn't really finding issues with getting swiftness. It's more like Where did my items go? Oh. Unfortunate. I guess it just unlocks it, maybe? I wonder if I can just sell those berries. Be able to see. Mm, I don't know if I want to do this. Let's take potions. That's one thing I didn't do last time using potions. I already have a key right now. Maybe we'll find one.
Like an additional enemy with the lowest spell. Uses one cost. Swiftness, ignore pawn. Think rage slash. Right, no, let's, let's grab that. Tear up. We can get a key from this. And I really don't know what the positive effects do. I'm gonna Google that. Please don't show up. Okay. It's fine. I'll just keep on playing and we'll figure it out at some point. Uh... Damn. I know what I could do. No, no, wait. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. And we can just do a basic snap. And the line. Still no. Do you Let's grab a? Holy light. Unless we get anything that's not a key, then I guess. Oh, this is nothing really? Okay. Oh, I guess we can just fight the boss as is. Don't see why not. Sure. I'm not prepared, really, but... I don't really have a choice. I'm gonna do basic. How can do a basic? Let's grab an end of the line. Back. Even coil. And do this. We can snap and the line. There you go, we got an equipment. Didn't really get an artifact. Yeah, I kind of took a lot of damage there. Oh well. Ew! That's nice. Let's grab Rage. Gracie Book. Uh, I don't really have an equipment. I guess we're gonna 
put a potion here. It's too bad we don't have a relic. This is what we'll do. Then we can go ahead and do this. And grab a on. And we can upgrade that. Speaking of, let's increase our mana. Alright, what party member can we get today? We're gonna grab Miss Chain. Uh, let's see. Beer, cheesecake, fashion mag. You might like the fashion magazine, right, Miss Chain? Alright. I mean, I look like it, but I also wear pretty clothes. Just that if I try to dress up, the clothes get all covered in grease and I have to throw them away. I know, how about we go shopping together in the holiday? On that day, we'll ban ourselves from any reckless activities and parade the streets like we're in a fashion show. It's a promise, okay, Lucy? Nice. Lucy, watch this. There's flames coming out of the chainsaw. Who oh, isn't it? Even has a name. Mr. Burn No 14. Is this magic? No, it's science. Science. Wait, maybe it's engineering. Anyways. Pretty awesome for some homemade custom build, don't you think? You made it yourself? Of course, I threw my heart and soul into it. I thought Joey was the one who made it. Ah, he'd never make something this authentic. I'm a technician by trade, so I have to know some know-how on making chainsaws. These bad boys are more delicate than they look, so they'll fall apart quickly if you don't put care into them. I'm using these delicate boys to cut away at monsters. Ha, ah, that's right, hence why this one's number 14. Number 13 minutes and not too long ago against a strong enemy. Number 14 inherited the parts and soul of number 13. I wanna hurry it up and feed it as much blood and flesh as number 13. So, tell me when you're finished repairing. Number 14's engine is ready to go. Yay. Uh, you know how to play? Hmm. Okay. Now we blacksmith these two. Damn. I mean, sure. They're not gonna crit. We're not going for the crit build right now anyways. Too bad we have no relics. I wonder why it's sparking like this. Oh, maybe it's because it does more damage. Oh! I was supposed to use an attack there. Whoops.
This crap metal would be nice. And get a key, that would be great. The chest, but it has nothing. Oh well, that is not good. Dodge. Yes. Okay. Zoom. Ah. Here. Nice. And I guess we can level up our. Identify weakness, that's a good one. Receive pain damage. Three times missing hoe. Nah, mutilate. This hoe. We can go with this instead. We can change the fixed ability to like that. I don't want to sacrifice HP right now. So we got faint resistance, which is fine. That's okay. Don't have a key. Can buy a key. So if I buy a key, I can get two scraps, and I can get like legendary gear. Be nice. They're very nice, but keep exploring. We can just do this one. And grab the uncommon here. We'll just keep that and we'll just like forge it. You know. We need more attacks. We need more attacks. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, I really need that one move. Blood reflux is nice. Forget snap, I guess. Hold up. I guess I'm not really using it often. Oh, 
Okay, perfect. I think. Mutilate. No, it doesn't have it. Guess we can just grab a Bloodstorm. So we have it. Some high damaging move. And spurn to yourself in this chain. This would be nice. I do something like this. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Just going at the flow. Ew! So... No. We didn't get a key, unfortunately. I don't really feel like wasting money. So, uh, oh well, we'll just keep going. Oh, that's a new opponent. What's happening here? In task, you're just going to reduce its cost by one. So we got a basic heal then. What the fuck? I have to use this, unfortunately. Here up. And a healing coil. We're gonna... Do this. Oh my god. Let's do this. Damn, dude. This sucks a bit. Because I have to let this happen. Yikes. Back, I don't really have any draw cards. It really sucks. Oh fuck, I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah. Let's swap. Do basic heal here. Basic heal here. Got a rage, unfortunately. We're gonna heal up. This sucks. This is so bad. Let's 
so close. Oh my god! Just do not have the cards. I do something like this. This should just go. There you go. There is just one. That was so bad. <laughs> oh. That was not good. And I still don't have anything. Must be used. Yep. Honestly, not a very good run. You're not doing okay. I gotta use the bread. Gotta bread. We have bread. We have bread. Go to a blacksmith. Do this. Nope. So we don't need to do that. Oh, you know what? No, it's still turned green. Oh man, wow, this is... Wow, this is bad. <laughs> this is... Bad. This is no bueno. We are not in a good spot. Sake? Cheesecake? You look like you want cheesecake. Nope. Lucy, are you feeling okay? Is the pain gone now? Yeah, it's all thanks to your healing. Thank you, Prezzo. Please, I was only doing my part. Really kind, Prezzo. But then, it's wrong. I don't see all this way too, but a lot of people seem to think you're scary when you fight. In contrast to how kind you usually are. Pardon me, I don't see how that's a strange thing. Once we fight our pure, pure evil, we'll be on the point of salvation. There must be not many that There must not be any mercy against evil. It's natural to approach this matter with a cold heart. You mean to say you feel compassion for our enemy, Lucy? No, it's not like that, but sometimes you get scary to the point where it's excessive. Excessive? Lucy, that's a silly thing to say. It's not right to use the term excessive in relation to confronting evil. Evil is like an infestation that reappears at any moment if not thoroughly rooted out. You're claiming that I'm being excessive, but I think the opposite. I regret that I can't be even more ruthless. No, but still. There are no exceptions for evil. Lord is the only one who can bring salvation to them. It means we must do is send those souls to the Lord as soon as possible. You're scary. There's nothing to be afraid of. Lucy, as long as you're not tainted by evil, there's no chance he'll ever harm you. Rezul, I know you're a good person, but sometimes you feel distant from the rest of us. That may be the case after all, with different mission. Collecting time shades and turning back time is important. That's not my main goal. And what is? This is the last time a mission is to purify all evil and focus full with what is truly good. That is all. Yay. Fortunately, that's all I can do. We can upgrade. We can upgrade. So like Yeah, let's do this. They may be not at that run. If I if I can get that one oh my god. Still no, huh?
So I'm gonna get Merciless Explosion. Get a skill. Mainly called Rage Slash. Just donate. Oh, I feel like this is a dead run, anyways, so. I'm gonna donate everything. So I didn't do that the last time, and this is where all my money went. Nowhere. Oh, it's a shop. I'm broke. Because I feel like this is the dead run. Oh my god, dude. I have no keys. I did have a key. I'm stupid. Let's equip this to Hein. Equip this to Prezel. Yikes. Something like that. Don't really have anything. I guess I could do something like this. Would you stun me, bro? Oh, I'm stunned right now, so I can't do much. Bug reflux. I didn't kill. Bruh. Nice dodge. We'll tear up. Play with fire. Nice, we got a key. Yay, money. Money, money, money. Let's upgrade. That's unfortunate, but whatever. That does reduce our damage a bit, but it's kind of, uh, we do have money, might as well. That's fine, I guess. If I happen to get cursed equipment, I do have a key, but let's keep exploring. Exploring. There you go. Ow. Ow. I have an end of the line, they should just kill. Oh. Let's 
level up. Let's add a draw card. Uh oh. That's nice. Let's get more heal. Evelyn, this one, I guess. Healing coil. So load this up. Fire ground. This is what we want. That's why you're here. Oh, what the fuck is that? Let's go wait. Didn't do a lot of damage. Grab this. What we're going to do is do this. And we're gonna. Now we're not gonna end the mine. Gonna do this. And grab an endless rage for next turn. We can just heal in portal. I should have endless rage first. Wow. Okay, there's. We can go up here, maybe. There's something here. Let's do this. Do you have a relic? I don't really care about this one. And grab two keys. Or I can just invest in a scope up. We do want pursuit this thing. And we should level up. Let's see. Already have this, but this is armor or Grab this. So that's it. We do have two keys. So let's use it. Damn. Uh now this one's good. Or Brazil. More healing, the better, I guess. Never complain. Just grab this. I want to see a magic trick, please. No. Now think of a card. <laughs> uh, this. What does that do? Let's 
So we can definitely do play by fire. Something like that. That didn't work. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I pressed, but it's fine. Because you're dead. That was easy enough. Let's use this. Why not? We don't really need this. Yeah, we don't. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 we do need it. Uh, we don't need the parry. Because now we can use this book. And learn Shining Pillar. Okay, let's upgrade some shit. So we need to do this and do this. Grab that. And do this and do this. Up. Like having the heels. Damn. Maximum health. Ooh. Never mind. Like that. Let's give you the fashion mag. Nice. You see. Hi. Look at Pixie. See, I knew you were the big sis. Big sis. Oh, so cute. Alright, come over here. Now I knew it. It's great. It's a hero. I'll put a band aid for you. It doesn't hurt that much. Besides, we need to get going. Activate the clock tower. The body comes first before the clock tower, you see. You'll regret it if you push yourself too hard and get hurt. Wrenching's good and all, but you need to learn to take breaks too. I wouldn't say I've lived that long either, but since I've done a lot of dangerous things, I used to have bruises all over my body. Really? It's obvious from my fighting style, right? I stand at the very front to protect my allies. One day I realized if I act recklessly out there and die, who's gonna protect my allies behind me? I learned that in order to protect my friends, I had to 
protect myself first and foremost. This chain. Okay, hold on. It might have been cleaner if we used healing magic or potion, but I kind of prefer this old fashioned way. There's something human about its crudeness, if you know what I mean. Miss Chain, you really do feel like a big sister? Oh, is that so? Then you can call me Big Sis from now on. I don't need any family members this stupid. No, so close. So, like, is this maxed? What does this do? Oh, we can recruit. We're gonna grab this guy. Here we go. Oh, I just realized I don't have the other relic anymore. Uh, we can increase our mana pool. That'd be nice. Yeah, let's see. What equipment do you have? Do you have that? Oh my god. Uh Ooh. That's nice. We can give it to end of line. So like, hold up. So it just gives us a countdown on healing coil. Okay. So if I level her up, no biggie then. We can just uh, get rid of it or something else. Just in case, I guess. There you go. Oh my god, it's so much shit. Let's get rid of... Shield bash. Okay. That didn't kill.
spine, and I can do something like this. That didn't kill! Oh man. Why did you have... Okay. I did not go to according to take off the door. Attacks could have gone worse, not gonna lie. I almost fucked up there. Raise your chance. Raise your chance. Oh, right. Uh, increase mana. And let's get a draw. Tiny camera is really nice if I play it correctly. Oh my god, that keeps happening. No, my HP, bro, bitch. Sad part is I probably could have ended it there too. But I didn't. My HP! It's fine, you wanna be this though, anyways. Stop attacking me, please. have anything we really want to preserve but yeah uh yeah literally what would I even preserve I guess it's nice 
Oh wait. We will wait. No, I should have up it up. Let's use their up. Then we can find a camera. And we can use Blood Storm. Just like that. Oh, I gotta just more. Alright. Good. Let's grab this. This banana peel do. We have a lot of shit, so. Could really use this up though. Uh, Useless. Oh, that preserves an item next run. Honestly, it's just like put a key here. Can we split? Cannot split. I am desperate for relics right now. Armo aggro increased. Sure. Go to the other treasure. We are not in a good spot. Ooh, there you go.
do want to get rid of the seaweed coil. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five. I could also increase my mana. Oh my god, he still can't get what I want. Get a skill. Gear up is not doing it for me, honestly. RNG shit. You have money now. Nothing I really want though. Yep. Let's oh wait. What is this? Nothing? What is that? Secrets. It's a secret. Aha! Like how, like... Oh, okay, I guess. I see, I see. It is out of place. This boss again. See, now we're gonna go all in.
Oh, well, I thought that. That didn't go, unfortunately. Oh, it. Oh, right, I'd rage, right? Nice. Whoops. Yep, plan that. Super plan that. <sighs> Uh, let's see. Engine reload. Just trying my best to get rid of something here. Forget scope, there you go. Eh. What, I can't forget it? Bruh, what? I can't forget an upgraded skill. Bruh. I'd known. I had known. If I had known. I wouldn't have done this. Now our team is kind of scuffed. No bueno. I got bamboozled. Seem like an electric guitar player. Nope. Okay, upgrade. Sorry. Draw one skill. Okay, so pain, okay. I don't think we're having problems with drawing right now. So let's see that move. Nice. Blacksmith. Uh, what is no? Oh, you can do this. You can do this. And you can do this. And do this. I like what items I have right now, so I think I'll do something like this. There you go. So we'll do pop, pop. Pop. Oh, I had this, bro. I don't want to use it yet, though. Like, I want to equip it, but I don't want to accidentally break it. No money. 
Oh, I had this, bro. Next time. Next time we're gonna... Forge that shit away. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna purchase the piece. Good. That's why we had the money. I'm just waiting on one skill, really. Or, uh... Or Hein. The one where it does more damage. As you take damage. We're gonna... Oh, what is this? I should read those archives later. I don't really have any cursed items, unfortunately.
And it says skill books, like what does it mean? Makes sense. Uh Let's forget some skills. Ah, there you go. There's the crap. Like, I was like, why does it never kill? That's why. Uh... It's fine. I have so many draw cards, but it's A-OK. -okay. I should have done it the other way around. It's okay. It's all okay. So have we not gone up here? That's the boss. Ew. Oh, that didn't kill? What the fuck? Interesting.
I wish I had more attacking moves. I do not. What? There we go. Keep forgetting the fact. I should get rid of that. There you go, we need this. But the heal though. Now we should get this to me. can do this. Oh my god, that just all oh my gear gone. Damn dude. much about this relic. we can use this key over here.
So we're gonna start using these barriers we have for uh, fucking this again. Sense. Makes sense. Ow. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, we gotta use this. In this pursuit, we grab the Lug Storm, I guess. That doesn't kill, unfortunately. Ow. It's okay if you get attacked. That's fine. this so we can heal barrier do this oh my god I forgot about this ability No! Do I die to this thing again? Bro. Couldn't out DPS it.
kill us, right? Yep. Oh, dude. Why would that happen? It's fine, I think. As long as I don't die, I win. God, that was so close. Oh, yeah, actually, one that. He actually won. Surprisingly. Honestly, should have been using more items, but. Oop de doo. Did not. I see that does so much damage. Forget intimidation. I have not used this move yet. Don't know how I won this, but I did. Oh. Nani? What? Is running the clock there all we have to do now then? It's been a long journey. How do you feel? It's a strange feeling. I still yearn for a good fight. I just think we don't have to fight anymore. I feel at a loss. So it's better for everyone else. Because no one has to live in fear of the twisted land anymore. I hope our efforts haven't been for nothing. You think force you think force will come up in time of peace? The only thing I know how to do is fight. I feel at a loss when I'm told to simply enjoy the peace. So it's better for everyone else because no one has to live in fear of the best of man anymore. I hope our effort hasn't been for nothing. Yay! Oh, why am I causing a ruckus all of a sudden? How can I not? We did it. Change the world. Yay. What are your plans? Have you ever seen a record of peaceful times in the past? In the past, there were so many kinds of food that you can't even imagine. During back time, there will be so much more delicious food to try. I'm getting nervous just imagining it. Let's cut to the chatter and get this clock power going. There's gotta be so much new stuff waiting for us, things we never could have imagined. You don't have to ask me, it's the best thing ever. So what happens? Are we supposed to be the young son hero who saved the world and end up in some kind of wall of fame? I'm getting nervous just imagining it. Let's cut to the chase and get this clock power going. There's gotta be so much new stuff waiting for us, things we never could have imagined. Time has come. Let's get to the clock power. My plans? Well, I haven't given it much thought. I've been chasing after this for so long. It's time to get what we came for. Let's go. How do I feel? Well, oddly enough, I don't feel anything in particular. I feel like I did what was necessary. I've been chasing after this for so long. It's time to get what we came for. Let's go. Is this the end? Finally, goodbye to this damn madness. Huh, what am I gonna do after this? It's none of your business. But yeah, we don't have to fight anymore, do we? I just wanna stretch out my legs and take a nap somewhere warm. What? What's the point of knowing how I feel? Relieved now that hatred and revenge is no more. The point I feel void inside. Congratulations, Lucy. We finally reached the destination we have longed for. And if you turn back time, my fate will only not disappear. What was 
because God is a timeless being, which means my job will change at all. Don't worry about what happens afterwards. Our Lord will be watching over us anytime, anywhere. I feel great. I'm in perfect condition to pray. How about this, Lucy? Let us learn the Lord's teaching together once we operate the clock tower. I'm sure your quality of light will improve. Don't worry about what happens afterwards. Okay. So we re-round time, I guess. Yep, that's what it seems like. Something's supposed to be happening right now. I'm supposed to click? Bruh. Nice. Yeah, that's it. I was preparing so hard, bro. I was preparing so hard. Like all my equipment, man. Did you see what I had? All the pain that I've lost. Are you, are you saying it's all a simulation? Five memory data will not be reverted. Huh? What does that mean? Checking, okay. Increasing loop count? That's not good. So we had limited loops. Rebuilding. Welcome to the Ark. It came unannounced. The land was overcame, but wait. The earth was suddenly covered in ice, the sun disappeared, and time stopped for every living thing. This is the intro. Judging that humanity would be destroyed at this rate, scientists began working on a project. Build an art. Eh. Scientists who judged that humanity would soon face instruction create a virtual reality program, the Ark. The project was going smoothly, the last remnants of humanity gathered together. The Ark project was a success. Project participants and scientists enter chronogenic devices at the same time they are able to continue life within the ARC program. However, they did not realize that the ARC is not a safe haven full of hope, but a cage that would imprison them for eternity. So are we trying to break free? Is that what you're saying? Is that the end game here? What the heck? Uh, what if I just quit there? <laughs> Remember what would happen? This is a lost memory of mine. Is this the world? Oh, right. You know, this game is really not good at telling me if I should be doing something or not. Hello, porcupine. Wait, goodbye. 
Porcupine. No, oh, it's so warm. Yeah, are you ready yet? There's no time to idle around in a place like this. I'm gonna soak my sword with blood already. Fine, I've already taught you that your sword is there to protect yourself. Jeez, you always nag at me. Anyways, you get my point, right? Ready to leave soon. Just lit the fire, no need to be impatient. Seems like the time shade is nearby. Let's try our best, everyone. Lucy, how are you holding up? I'm fine, thank you. By the way, Azar, I had a strange dream yesterday. I was eating ice cream and hanging out with my friends. Your friends? Yeah, I think it was a happy dream. Do you remember anything else about your friends? Hmm, I don't really remember who they were. I'm sure they were close to me. Hmm, speaking of dreams. I also had some strange dreams recently. You too, Leon. For starters, it was a very cold day. I think it wasn't at the Ark. I was a famous researcher. I was doing research inside a dark room. I published a variety of research papers, but nobody knew who I really was. They were all pressed as pen names or anonymous. I kept my identity secret because I was scared of confrontation. Inside your dreams, right? Yes, in my dreams. But I think the anonymous signature threw people, people's attention even more. So wordy, why don't you go write a novel? I must have like you, a researcher. Even the monsters should laugh at your story. Nine, be quiet for a second. Leon, what happened after that? Well, that's about it. I don't really remember anything else. Come on, let's go chop some furrows instead of the stream talk. Great of people, famous researchers. At the end of the day, they all, all just dreams. Why are you wasting time on these fake stories? Oh sure, dreams are just dreams after all. But still, they were incredib incredibly vivid, unlike the other ones, and that concerns me. I see, in any case, I don't think you need to worry about it too much, Leon. You see, you too. We have a long way to go into the clock tower. Let's focus on our goal for now. Of course. Okay. Ah, you remind me of that stupid dream again. Annoying. Hmm? Did you say something? It's nothing, let's go. Wow, we're so happy. Just forget it. Can't be me. I screamed in my dreams. It was so sweet. Dreams are your dreams. Don't worry too much about them. Oh, okay. This is me. That's why I was like, I was so confused. Like, when I talked to her, why am I showing up? I was like, ah, uh, we're still dead inside. She's not. That's cool. That dream, I wonder what it's about. So now, they're gonna die in this next one, right? No. Oh. Oh, there it is, the time shade. Amazing, we found it so quickly. I suppose this rips Lucy's abilities beyond a doubt. You know, it wasn't possible without you all. I didn't do much of anything. It's not true, Lucy. You supported the team well. You're a big hope to us all. Really? <laughs> Alright, can't stand this mood. I think we're all worn down from today's activities. Maybe we should grab the time machine and return to the Ark for today. For today, yeah. Okay, it's good that we found the time shade and all. But I think there's something waiting for us. Damn, I didn't expect the Guardian. Enemy incoming, prepare yourself. Time to soak my plate again. <laughs> oh, current plan. I hope we can make it this time. Alright, the moment of truth. Wait, I'm battling? What? Let's see what you got, child. Your friend will perish by your own choices. Did you all come here to become my slaves? I'm flattered. A dark purple smoke appeared around my hands as the witch waved at me. Dear child, I will share a part of my power with you. Go curse a friend of yours that you hate. Take too much time, something interesting will happen. <laughs> is this? Lucy, what is that? I don't know, a curse? It's the witch's curse, Lucy. Cast the curse on one of us. If you don't choose quickly, everyone will be cursed. You want me to curse one of us? You guys take care of that. I'll just be doing my own thing. 
it's all good if I cut her head off, right? Hehe. <laughs> Dark purple smokes appeared around my hands as the witch waves at me. It isn't easy to attack a friend or ally. Even if I knew I had to, acting on it is a completely different matter. I was caught up in my inner conflict as her approached me. Listen, Lucy, curse isn't that strong. It's possible to resist you for a little while. All the curses will disappear once we defeat the witch. Witch, bleh. All the curses will disappear once we defeat the witch. God, well, why can I say that? All the curses, curses will disappear once we defeat the witch. Let's put them evenly among sister elves and take her down quickly. Lucy, cast the curse on me. I'm the sturdiest member of the team. Everyone else, attack the realms, resisting the curse. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. You're the most damaged out of us three. It's not my fault if you die, okay? As I, what should I do? It's up to you, Lucy. Side with a cold and rational mind. Lucy, hurry. Okay, I don't even get a choice. A painful gas escaped the Leon's mouth. Her legs were trembling slightly, but she managed to keep up her battle stance. Leon, are you okay? Yes, this is absolutely nothing. So what am I supposed to do? Wow, that's a bad quick skill. Another one. What should I do? Right, I can stand it. I'm the shield is theme. Don't you worry. I'll never give up. Hey, stop bluffing. You're seriously gonna die. I can afford to lose you here. Get us enough, kid. Yes, the had enough to cast that curse on your razor. Stop behind. What? Lucy should decide for herself. She can't grow if you keep helping her. This time she'll definitely succeed. Let's put her faith in Lucy. Fucking, what the hell are you saying? Just look at her face. You're telling us to trust that kid? Leon, I'm scared. What should I do? You're gonna make me. Rah, dude. You distribute the damage, you dumbass. Now she's gonna die. Okay, we stay. Leon already looked like she was struggling to stand straight. All I could do was tell myself, it's Leon, she must be alright. Over and over again. I was trying to shake off my responsibilities. I'm fine. I can bear this, I won't give in. What did you just. You see, are you reading a situation properly? Everything hinges on your decisions. And we're dead. And Leon's dead. <laughs> now let's harvest the withered. Arise, my child. And she's dead. Look, man. I know pretty much everyone died in my final encounter, but at least I made it. Leon collapsed in front of my eyes, unable to withstand the curse. And I was responsible for it. My misuse of the curse made Leon collapse. Leon? No way, how? You damn kid. Are you kidding me? Why did you curse her again? No, it's alright. What? She just fainted in front of me. Nice thinking, Lucy. Look at Azer with trembling eyes. Leon couldn't make it, but don't worry too much. Ayn and I are still standing. This was your plan all along, right? At the verge of death, at the brink of defeat, we'll make it through and claim the victory. That's the feeling. The sense of crisis. You're just a masochist. This is the best feeling ever. What's wrong with you? Azar didn't seem concerned at all. He was enjoying the situation like playing a video game. His enthusiasm was almost creepy, giving us goosebumps instead of calming us down. Azar, are you out of your mind? Right, Hyan, listen. Maybe it's her strategy to focus the curse on Leon. We didn't have much hope of surviving anyways. You and I are completely safe thanks to that. Yo, this is some metagaming shit right here, metagaming. Stop saying crazy shit. 
is or can't you read the situation? Don't worry, we still have a chance to win. Let's all work together to overcome this challenge. Besides, it's no fun if we just surrender, right? Well, I mean... Can we even win? Is that even possible? This is unfortunate. Yeah. Sigh, oh man. This is the worst possible decision. I already told you multiple times. Damn it. Damn it all. So this curse, my energy. I mean, we just lose, so... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Fine. What do we do now, Lucy? Can you think of a different strategy? <sighs> it's no use. She seems to have lost her vote to fight. It's over. Let's not waste any more. Nice. Alright, let's keep going. Fine, what are you doing? Can you even move with all those curses? It's not over yet. And let it end like this. And still fight harder. Nice! Let's go. There's no more dolls to protect her. Now it's our only chance. Hey, stop it. Let's wait for Lucy. To follow her orders, no matter what. Shut the fuck up. That's gonna get us all killed. Just tell her to stay back and watch. <laughs> How is that guy still moving? <laughs> Stupid curse can stop me, barely tickles. I'll kill her. I'll kill that bastard. Alright, I told you to stop. Die, die, die. You're so close. Fine, you're incredible. Maybe you have a chance, just maybe. <laughs> oh, die. And betrayal. Yeah. What? It all happened in an instant. Izar is behind Hein, slices his body diagonally into two pieces without hesitation. No time to even scream, and with an expression that showed he did not understand what had just happened. Hein rolled down the grassy fields helplessly, upper body and lower body separated. Azar, what did you just now? Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Let's hurry up and die so we can get to the next loop. Your performance was a bit lacking, but I'm sure you can do it next time. Die. Next time? What do you mean? I don't understand. What? Why did you... Hine? It was acting out of line. Shouldn't have rejected your orders like that. I admit Hein is strong, but leaving him like that won't help you grow. Well, how? These are, how could you? Don't forget this, dude, but let me tell you something. Once you die, everything will return to how it was before. Or that includes the lives of Hein and Leon. But don't worry about them. Dying has no meaning in this world. No need to feel compassion towards point stuff like these. You see, listen to me well. Death, fear, putting your life at stake. You'll get used to all of this soon. No, you must get used to it. I believe you can do it. You're not ordering a kid, after all. You have the potential to become much stronger than you are now. But why? 
Why do I need to become stronger? I don't really understand what you're saying. Why? That's because you're a hero of this world. Like the others, your memories will remain in your subconscious. Your destiny is to repeat the same timeline for eternity. Eventually, they defeat that guy. It's the only way that this world can be completed. Having said that, Hazor left me in my devastated state and started walking towards the forest. Anyway, this loop is coming to an end. But don't worry, no matter how many times you fail, I'll always be there to help you grow. Let's meet again in the next loop. Okay, understand, Sar. I'll try to do better next time. That's fucked up. Is that why we're always sad? Is that why we're the side girl company? Hey yo. Alright. Let us watch some videos. Well, listen to me monologue. I already read this. Hello everyone, my name is Klein, the Arc Project's executive. First, I'd like to thank all of the guests who have gathered here. Those who have supported us to help them. Well, I concur. This phenomenon was observed by chance that we had no precursors. The time we have remaining is very short indeed. In this situation, there are many projects underway in various parts of the world, but the method of the remaining majority of people who chose is cold sleep. Putting to our talks with the organizations that are still intact, the population has already entered cold sleep. Cold sleep is an innovative solution that takes advantage of the symptoms of this great catastrophe. It's a method that can accommodate the most amount of people. However, the problem is that this method is far from perfect. First of all, the biggest problem is that, as we all know, this phenomenon is likely to stay on Earth for a long period of time. On top of that, since it's impossible to accurately estimate when it will end, it's possible that it could last for an astronomical amount of time. The situation demands us to look up to a thousand years into the future. No chance to wake up from cold sleep. In the worst case scenario, all of humanity's could be forever in cold sleep, I'm assuming. Humanity is on the path of destruction. So that's why we started the ARC project to preserve us until that point. The ARC project is groundbreaking is a groundbreaking way. Groundbreaking way to maintain our daily lives during the span of the Great Catastrophe. The ARC contains everything needed to sustain life. Yep. The ARC can outlast and safely. We cannot accommodate me, 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 me. alternately me, 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 me. if you were not selected for the ARC or nearby shelters for cold sleep. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. As soon as the Greek catastrophe is over, me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. perfect. So there's a disaster, people went to sleep, but we don't know how long the disaster is happening. So in order to keep the people alive in the cold sleep, Project Arc was made, from what I understand. The BH-1412 cryogenic power model is out that developed from by the world-renowned IT corporation Nova has been distributed all across the globe. However, a recent discovery by a YouTube channel has revealed a fatal defect within the BH-1412. Currently, the video has been deleted from the platform, but archives of the video are still being distributed across the internet. The videos provide direct evidence of the system errors within the pod, and many insiders claim that the contents of the video are true without a shadow of a doubt. 
As of this defect is presumed to be an update that Nova released to fix an issue regarding the BH-1412. Since all cryogenic devices are based on the BH-1412 model, it's highly unlikely, it's highly likely that the other models from the other companies will carry similar problems. Many people are already using the BH-1412 cry cryonic technology in preparation for the catastrophe, but this discovery is likely to stir major controversy worldwide. The following is not the BH-1412 operated before the update. As the product is started, the user is rapidly frozen and the observation of external temperatures begin. Once the temperature drops to a certain threshold, the device switches through hibernation mode and the human body can remain frozen without additional energy input. In this state, the BH-1412 is on standby until the temperature rises to adequate levels, in which case the device starts defrosting sequence and awakens the user. This revolutionary technology utilizes the extremely low temperatures of the catastrophe to its advantage, and was expected to preserve on the human lives for an expanded period of, of that period of time. God. Now, recent studies have shown that temperatures could fluctuate erratically during the global cooling phenomenon. This means it's possible that the pod system could recognize a momentary shift in temperature as a sign to defrost the user. And humans awakened this way would likely not survive when the temperatures were to suddenly drop again. In response to this problem, NOVA has implemented a system update so that the pods can assess the external situation more precisely. However, this has created an entirely different problem. According to an analysis by the YouTube video, the temperature sensing function will shut down once the pod reaches 80 years in hibernation mode. So, if the catastrophe it's more than 80 years, you're fucked. This, be, this means people will not be able to wake up even if the climate has returned to normal. The eventual power outage could lead to death. A huge number of people have already entered the BH-1412 cryogenic devices to avoid the catastrophe, but those left behind are in utter shock at this new discovery. Experts claim that prior preservation technology is still in primitive technological state, whatever, reached the limit due to the lack of time and resources. Even amidst this controversy, Nova is still recommending people to enter cold sleep. And Peter, CEO of Nova, is ignoring all warnings about holding the distribution of these devices. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. And due to the lack of viable alternatives, the United Nations is supportive in Nova's opinion. And I can read the last statement. Uh, this is a lot. Hey. Picture taken in an unconfirmed location. It's a picture of a blonde woman smiling brightly and a woman with glasses who seems to be shy. Mr. Klein, population check has been completed. 600 people in code sleep, including the research team. 600 within the virtual world. A perfect match. Thank you. We should get started then. Now, let's begin the ARC project opening ceremony. First, there will be a speech by the executive director. Greetings, everyone. My name is Klein, the executive director of the ARC project. I'm honored, to be, I'm honored to be in this glorious moment together with everyone. This moment will surely be recorded in the history of mankind, and it will serve as a great leap towards a brilliant future. To many people who supported the launch of the project, once again, I offer my sincerest gratitude. Before explaining our future lives here, I'd like to preface, preface with a brief overview of the project. As we all know, the climate changes that started a few years ago, in a matter of time or a matter of hours, developed into an unprecedented catastrophe that swept the Earth. At this point, the entirety of 
Earth has already been frozen and has become completely uninhabitable for mankind. The remnants of humanity fled to underground bunkers or participated in cryonics. The future being hopeless and unpredictable as it is, many people viewed cryonics as an act of suicide. That in mind, we embark on a project that combines cryonics with the ability to observe the outside world. This is the origin of the ARC project. The ARC project, like many other projects, is based on freezing our bodies. Never we have managed to create an environment where the body is based in a cold sleep, but the mind is connected to a virtual reality program. From today onwards, we will be able to live comfortably within this virtual world. Next are the instructions regarding our lives here in the ARC. As previously announced, researchers will live in the research area and civilians will live in the village. For the safety and security of our facilities, civilians will be restricted from entering the research area. We ask for your understanding. And about life within the village, our general manager, Mrs., will explain the details. I'm the general manager of the ARC Project, Sis, just to make your acquaintance. Mrs. will oversee all daily activities within the ARC starting from today. She possesses extraordinary talent in managing people and facilities. Furthermore, she's the only one she can, who can assume my position in the case of an emergency. Researchers and civilians alike, please consider Mrs. as the actual person in charge of your daily lives. Mrs. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. First of all, we'd like to point out some details about Park Project. This virtual world that we stand on is 99% copy of the real world. Unlike other virtual worlds in popular VR media, all laws of reality apply within here. First, dangerous aspects such as pain or death are restricted by a special protector, so there's no need to worry. Because the art function, based on laws of reality, most of what we can be done in real life can be done in here as well. For example, farming, buildings, and raving, raising livestock, all of these activities will help you acquire basic necessities. Each and every one of your actions will contribute towards building a new human society. Make a human, make a new human society. What in the world are they talking about? We need to work even inside a virtual world. Why do we need to do that? Well, if you have nothing to do, or like centuries, millennia, if you're really unlucky. You get really damn bored. Please stay silent, everyone. If there are any questions, we will answer them one by one. So, so it seems like we can do various things in this world, but what are we supposed to do after the opening ceremony is over? First of all, after receiving your keys, you should check your living quarters. After that, you can engage in various activities to develop our new society. For example, you can craft and sell tools, obtain meat and hides through livestock, grow various crops, or run a restaurant that sells delicious food. Once we have a basic social foundation, you could even buy land and build convenience facilities or entertainment facilities. With the advancement of technology, we could use computers, smartphones, etc. Life within this arc would become more convenient once we can use the technology of the real world. There's the right convenience system for tasks such as cooking or building. This is a virtual world after all, right? I would like to reiterate that the laws of reality apply within the art. Such unrealistic systems do not exist here. We have to do everything with our own hands. What? I want us to do these things with our own hands. Well, actually, there's a, probably another reason for this. It's like once you wake up, if you don't know any survival skills? Your fault. Like, what's the point of waking up hundreds of years later? Society is fucking dead. You're gonna have to, you know, do your own agriculture from the ground up. You said this project will allow us to live comfortably. Why the hell do we need to work? Does the realism need to go this far? Let's just live comfortable lives. Because, again, if you wake up, there is no society. You are the society. Please let us finish our words. Everyone, why did we participate in the ARC project? Well, to survive, of course. 
Indeed, we all struggle to survive. And thanks to those struggles, we are still alive to this day. Now that we achieved our goals, does this mean we should stop struggling? That? I do not think so. Everyone, what is the definition of comfort? Doing nothing all day, pursuing no dreams while waiting for the storm to pass. Can this really be called comfort? The comfortable life you promise propose is primarily survival. This means that no one freezes to death and can still live under the warm sun. But all the people outside who can even afford cheap cryonics and frozen death. But I've never done any hard labor in my entire life. Do not worry too much. We'll ensure that you can receive the bare minimum necessities. The aforementioned living quarters are yours to keep. It's also possible to generate funds and resources by trading with merchant NPCs. With this method, you can obtain everything from food and clothing to any other basic necessities. We'll provide further instructions regarding this topic in the near future. You may question why we even need to labor within a virtual reality. That is totally understandable. However, I want us to set our sights for the distant future. We may very well be the last survivors of humanity. We need to spend up to 1,000 years in this place. But if we laze around while waiting for the grand catastrophe to an end, you believe we could survive in the world after the catastrophe has ended? There you go. After the catastrophe? The ecosystem has been frozen for several hundred years by the time we wake up. The world we see then might not be the world we remember. In that state, do you think we could truly survive within this devastated earth? Keep that in mind. The Ark is by no means a paradise or a refuge. This is another reality in which we will continue to struggle in. As for cooperation and understanding in our cause. Now if there are no more questions, let us begin a new life in this art. There is a small celebration party planned after the speech. We have prepared a feast to commemorate the successful launch of the art project. I hope this can be a good opportunity to deepen our bonds for the times ahead. This is all I have for today. Thank you. No, that makes sense. Sucks, but it makes sense. Inside the mines. Alright. Doing great. Keep it up, boys. Yes, sir. Huge tunnel located 200 meters underground in close proximity to the village. I became a work supervisor under a boss's orders. When we first set foot within this virtual world, this place was nothing but a barren wasteland. As the researcher said, we need to build a new society. The outside of the village was in complete ruins. Just like how it would be when the catastrophe is over. It was possible to gather some resources from the ruins, but nowhere near enough to support the population. And just when things seemed hopeless, natural resources were discovered from various parts of the land, and people started making tools from the ruined scraps, which laid a basic infrastructure for society. I've never thought I'd be working in the mines of all places. All I need to do is swing a pickaxe, but it's hard and expected, don't you think? Are you sure we're even doing properly? Who knows, it's not like any of us have ever worked in the mines before. Making us dig the mines without any safety training, those bastards. They over there who told you to chatter. What's that guy doing here? When are you supposed to be our chief? I'm about to burst from the stress. Mining is the basis of all manufacturing. It's a source of coal and iron, so as various other fuels and metals. In other words, to establish dominance in this world, we need to seize control of the mines. Was her boss's opinion. Damn it, if it wasn't for boss's orders, I wouldn't have to deal with these shitheads. Yeah, you're the one who mentioned the safety training, right? You don't need things like that. Huh, what if there's an accident? Don't forget, we're in a virtual world. Can't die or get her here. A while ago, I actually tried to amputate my arm for one of my boys, but I could only leave a small cut on him. He did feel some degree of pain, but nowhere near the pain of having an arm cut off. The wound vanished in an instant. We're truly invincible here. You understand now. Simply mining can't do any harm to us. Really, that's amazing. Change that doesn't make the work any less hard, though. But I gave you enough break time, you still haven't filled the daily quota yet. I'll quit yammering and get back to work. 
Damn it. Swim, 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 even staring in the face of your um, circumstances. Since there's no pain or death in this world, violence is completely meaningless. Such a cruel world for a mobster like me. Huh? Huh. So tired. You're so stuffy and you even can't breathe. I'm gonna faint. Hey, you stop slacking. What? You got a problem with me? I told you to take a break. Huh? You're. Aren't you the son of Joel? What? You're my father? Joel has an iron grip on the ranges along with the people at the Eclipse. Why choose hard labor at the mines when you can just work under your dad? That's because I'm elite. Father told me I could be of hope to everyone if I came here. Joel said that. Fuck's sake, how is a little kid gonna help me here? No, maybe Joel left him here because he was useless. What? Just heard that, right? Joel doesn't give a damn about you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm the proud son of my father. This is my technique. Just grab the pickaxe like this and... As soon as the boy struck with his pickaxe, a thunderous boom ran across the mines along with a dusty wind. Everyone halted their tasks, startled by the sudden impact. What was that? It's a sound. Did you guys hear that? Quiet. Now have everyone's attention. I'll go and assess the situation, so just stay here for a bit. Hey brat, you're coming with me. Why me? You need to go back. You're only going to be a nuisance here. No, I can't. Why? I return to my father empty-handed. I'll... Boss! Boss! So brother rushed over from the direction of the loud noise. What's going on? And then I call you to call me chief around these parts. The tunnel. The tunnel exit collapse, and people are trapped under the rocks. What? An abandoned underground mine of questionable conditions. Workers have close to zero expertise in mining, as well as a complete lack of safety training. We need safety training anyways. This is the virtual world. We're invincible. We saw nothing that scared them in this world, not even the fear of death. All of these circumstances combined are more than enough to cause carelessness. E. As the ceiling collapsed, the passageway was blocked with earth and stones. In front of the blocked passage, people were shouting over the piles of stones. Hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? Safe. Can't breathe. Oh, is it like... Since he can't die, it just keeps regenerating over and over and over again. When I breathe, dirt in my lungs. And I'll get you out. Then I'll need to help him. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing? Put down that pickaxe. Are you stopping me if I don't save him now? Are you crazy? We're gonna get buried alive too. Look above you. It's a little more pressure and the whole thing's gonna collapse. Then what do you suppose we do? Stay calm, at the very least they won't die. Most importantly, don't touch the stone pile. Just have to wait. Wait for the right hope to arrive. I did say that, but are you really gonna be okay? There's a protector in this virtual world that prevents you from dying. Pain is also reduced by a significant amount. However, what if you're in a state where your body is fresh and unable to move? What if you can't see anything every time you try to breathe and instead get a mouthful of dirt? Even if death is prevented, the pain is reduced, and if you feel you're beyond comprehension, you only get worse the longer that continues. Dying would be quick and painless in comparison. Damn it all. I never wanted to come to a place like this. It's noisier than usual today. I quietly observed the people from a corner of the village. This has been my usual afternoon routine. By observing the activity of human groups, you can learn more about others, and that knowledge will inevitably, inevitably become tangible benefits. However, the mood seems to be slightly different from usual. It's not the usual boring atmosphere. Never get into unnecessary trouble. I've always maintained the position of a bystander, but I should go check it out. Somebody help. The town square presumed to be a source of the sound. In the middle of a crowded area, a young girl was screaming urgently. There's an accident. Anyone please help. Oh dear, what happened? You see the mines collapse and people are buried under the rocks. The mines collapse? How can it be? Need to rescue them. Rescue? Wait, but is that is it even possible for us to rescue them? 
Yeah, maybe it'd be possible in the real world, but now we can barely even farm. Even if we had the equipment, we risk the making we risk making the situation worse. Now this is bad. Researchers, let's call the researchers for help. Since it's a virtual world, maybe the researchers could do something about it with their technology. The researchers aren't supposed to interfere with our lives. People are dying here. Is that really a concern? We should be held accountable for this accident. The protector would probably save them from dying, but I can. I can try talking to people at the research lab. I know one of the researchers there. Maybe if I ask them, it's not so, then we'll be in your debt. Let's go to the mines. Maybe there's something we can do to help. Hmm. Buried alive in a world where everyone is immortal. Hmm. This is quite interesting. Let's go speculate. And it ends there. God damn it. Alright. <sighs> I'm ready this far. The weather is clear. It's my first day at the Ark. They asked or introduced me with the other investigators. So Leon said the entire team was excited to hear that we had found a time shade. All of them are quite unique in their own way, but they all seem to be good people. The weather is clear. Today the villagers showed me around the ark. They showered me with presents, calling me the girl of prophecy. It's a bit awkward, but I feel happy. I think the arkers have high expectations for me. I feel like I've been burdened with something massive. The weather is cloudy. It's my fourth day at the ark. Some enthusiastic members told me to start packing for the journey ahead, but I'm afraid I have to go down that dark and damp twisted land. I don't have to go, but I don't really want to leave the ark. Rain is pouring. The departure has been, has been postponed due to bad weather. To be honest, I'm glad it rained. I don't want to go down the twisted land and to live comfortably inside the ark. Significant pages after this are empty. December 14th. The weather is very clear. It's been a while since I came to the Ark. Now we set out on a journey to find the remaining time shades. To be honest, I'm still scared. But I've decided to trust everyone. The investigation teams need my help. That's why I have to set aside my own fears. Everyone's been helping me since I came here. Now it's my turn to do whatever I can to repay them. Is this a diary from one loop? I'm not alone. We're all in this together. With their help, I'm sure I can overcome any challenges. Diary ends here. Is that like one loop? Run one. Your first run is so far so smooth. I'm writing a memo to check a variety of variables that can happen during the mission. Lucy is probably asleep at the starting point by now. I might be able to see her at the twisted man around noon tomorrow. No hard feelings on her. This is what Lucy wanted. Run 2. Right after Luke, I'm teleported to the master's room. That's me my designated starting point. I cannot do anything except go to the Ark from the spot. Program Master sleeping for eternity inside the crystal. It seriously freaks me out every time I see it. Run for. No significant changes has happened to Lucy yet. It is the fourth run, but it's, it is hard to take Lucy to the twisted land. It took four days for the last run, but it took over a week this time. I brought Lucy down to it somehow, but she got scared at the end. She does nothing. Different from unexpected, maybe she doesn't like the fact that she is the girl of prophecy and the savior of the world. Lucy keeps trying to evade her responsibility and run away from it. Why is that? Can't understand her. Lucy is a hero. Doesn't she want to be a hero? Does she prefer to become a kid A rather than a hero? Would have tried so hard to save the world after accepting the grand destiny if I were Lucy. Run 9. Talk with the investigation team once in a while in art. We usually repeat the same conversation every loop. It is interesting how to reply with new pattern depending on my reaction. There's one new fact I have noticed. 
investigation team regards their past memory as a dream. He thinks only that the past memory so it is incomplete and they feel like it is a dream. Maybe not to worry about it since it wouldn't cause a big contradiction. We should keep that in mind just in case. Run 14. I feel a particular will from Lucy. Lucy constantly questioned her mission to run the clock tower and save the world. It's hard to say yes from some point. Lucy is changing for sure. We will be able to complete this world without a problem at this rate. 500 months later. Lucy changes. Lucy's change made me more motivated to go down the distant land. Run 46. We finally defeated the Joker at the Bloody Park. We got defeated after being surrounded by horses and clockwork dolls right after that. What a shame. Lucy could have gone further if she got luckier. Lucy's getting better day by day. I was worried at first, but the repeated experience are indeed stacked inside her subconscious mind. This feels fresh. I get happy whenever Lucy gets better. Shouldn't be too motivated though. It's just part of the game. My purpose is. So I believe you feel better than I've expected. Run 167. You're finally picking up how we use the skills correctly. Illusion swords can be applied in endless ways, or incredible moves might be possible if I do this right. It isn't just Lucy's a grown. I'm getting more substantial as well. I don't know how long it's been to feel this level of satisfaction. But I should remember, everything here is fake. I should accept this is a fake world even if it feels so real. Run 300. It's been a while since I left the record. I have an idea that it's messing my mind. I have a mission, important mission. A program master entrusted to me. I don't want to go against whatever he's saying. But is that what I really want? So am I only living for that purpose? Is it okay for me to live like this? I don't have an answer for it. Perhaps I won't be able to find an answer for the rest of my life. Then. I wish I was Azer of the ARC investigation team. That way I wouldn't have to think about it anymore. Oh, that's a lot of reading.